Hey guys, Jake here, coming at you with another math lesson today. Today we're going to be talking about how to find the arc length of a circle. When you're given a certain circle with a given radius, and you're looking at a portion of that circle, basically like a pie slice of it, with a certain angle. So let's go ahead and just jump right on into it here. So essentially it comes down to a very simple formula. For a circle of radius r, a central angle theta intercepts an arc of length s given by s equals r times theta, where theta is measured in radians. So what does this mean? Well, basically, there's, I mean, like the equation says here, there's three components to this. s, which is the arc length, r, which is the radius, and theta, which is the angle of the pi slice, essentially, the chunk of the circle that we're actually looking at. So let's think about an example of how we could actually apply this and we'll talk a little bit visually about what this actually looks like. So let's say we want to use this formula to find the length of the arc on a circle of radius r intercepted by central angle theta where we have r equals 20 centimeters and theta equals pi over 4 radians. So let's think about a picture. Generally when you're doing any sort of math problem I think it really helps to start with a picture. It helps to visualize, it helps you to figure out what pieces you have, what pieces you're looking for, all that kind of good stuff. So we'll start with a circle, and I know, trust me, this is not going to be a perfect circle, but it sure. should be good enough to demonstrate our point here. Um, basically, in this sort of a situation, we have a central angle of pi over 4 radians. So a full circle is 2 pi radians. Half a circle would be pi. So pi over 4 would be an eighth of a circle basically uh, coming straight across from the center of the circle to the kind of rightmost edge and then up at a 45 degree angle basically um, this pi over 4 would be the radian measure here okay so that's our central angle so that's pi over 4 that's theta we have a radius of 20 centimeters so we know the radius of this circle is 20 centimeters. So from the center to the edge is going to be 20 centimeters. And basically what we're looking for here is the length of this little chunk of the circle. So basically the kind of distance around the circle at this curved, curved edge, curved angle here, this is S. This is the arc length that we're looking for. So basically to find that, we can just use this formula that we discussed a moment ago, S equals R times theta. So S equals r times theta. Well, in this case, we know r is 20 centimeters. So we can say, plug in 20 for r. And then theta is pi over 4. So we can plug in pi over 4 for theta. And that's what our arc length is going to equal. So we can pretty much just kind of simplify this from here. 20 and the 4 are going to cancel and leave us with 5 times pi, so uh, s is gonna equal five pi, um, and then that's just gonna be essentially the length of that, which is gonna be measured in the same units as what your radius was. So this is gonna be five pi centimeters. So with a radius of 20 centimeters, if we take the length of essentially an eighth of the circumference, because pi over four is one eighth of a full circle, that's gonna leave us with a distance of five pi centimeters right here, which would be pi is 3.14, so that would probably be uh, somewhere around 16, 17 uh, centimeters for this whole length right here. So similarly, you, you could use that equation if you were given any two of those three components between the arc length, the central angle, and the radius. If you're given any two of those three, you can use that equation along with the two components you're given to find the third component you're looking for. So in this example we just did, we found the arc length using the radius and the central angle. If you were given, let's say, the length of that, that arc, that arc length and the radius, or the arc length and the central angle, you could use this equation to find the third missing component. So if you haven't already, go check out my pre-calculus study guide I came out with recently. You can scan that QR code in the upper right-hand corner of your screen right up here, or go to this website here, jakesmathlessons.com slash precalculus-study-guide. I promise that's going to be super helpful for you. 
But if you want to keep this brain train rolling for now, just go ahead and click on that video right up there and uh, we'll keep it going. Thanks and see you next time.